Competitive display systems, such as television, simulate color appearance by combining red, green, and blue primaries. Because the human visual system creates the perception of color using three types of light receptors, color can be graphically represented in a three-dimensional space. This RGB cube is the gamut of a contemporary Xenon digital projector. Different choices for the RGB primaries define different gamuts. For example, digital television's color gamut lies within that of our digital projector. This is because television's RGB primaries are less saturated. Of course, the human visual system can perceive colors outside the range of both of these devices. These are the pure monochromatic colors of the visible spectrum. As the most saturated colors, this contour defines the limit of human color perception. Extending the spectrum to multiple luminance levels, we observe that the RGB color cube is completely contained within the visible locus. Indeed, all color reproduction gamuts lie within these bounds. Normalizing the spectral intensities and altering our vantage point, the spectral locus takes on the horseshoe shape familiar to color scientists. Rotating back, observe the multitude of colors which are present in the real world, but lie outside of the RGB gamut. In 1931, the CIE defined three primaries, X, Y, and Z, which are distinct in that they are not tied to a physical display device, but rather lie outside of the visible gamut. Furthermore, the XYZ primaries completely enclose the visible gamut, by definition encoding all color perceptions possible in the real world. Thus, the XYZ primaries can be used to describe color in a manner independent of any current or future display technology.